Let us start this lecture with the thought process. Passion is the vital energy that drives the human life to true success. If you want to be successful, you should have fire in your belly. That means passion. Are you getting? So, and let us recall what we learned in the last lecture. We basically deal with the stoichiometric uh, calculation, how to carry out a stoichiometric calculation for any kind of fuel apart from the hydrocarbons, which is a uh, you know main fuel in petrochemical era, right. And as I told, we had defined basically a term known as equivalence ratio, which is very useful for premix flame and so also the um, percentage of um, stoichiometric air and percentage of excess air. And we took some uh, one example to illustrate how you can carry out this analysis for a generalized fuel, for any fuel as a matter of fact, in a uh, carrying out a very systematic manner the mass balance of for each element. And uh, now we will be uh, looking at how to deal with basically the diffusion flame and for that we will be defining another term which is known as mixture fraction right in uh, diffusion place uh, flame particularly at the inlet condition people do use equivalence ratio but they call it as a overall equivalence ratio but that will be only at the inlet of the combustors okay for example if i consider that there is a combustor where the 1 kg of fuel uh, stream, this is basically a fuel stream, right. And um, uh, will be basically in the oxidizer stream, the new kg per, uh, per second is flowing, right and it will be reacting in this combustor and what will be the product then if complete combustion is taking place right what will be new plus 1 kg of product that means 1 kg of fuel is reacting with new kg of oxidizer going to the product 1 plus new kg of product right now we will basically uh, look at a definition of the mixture fraction which is nothing but mass of material with its origin in fuel stream divided by the mass of mixture right so i can write down in mathematical form as mf right divided by mf plus m oxidizer what is this this is basically mass of fuel and this is for mass of oxidizer right m mox is the mass of oxidizer right now if you look at for this stream right uh, for fuel stream what would be the oxidizer oxidizer will be zero for fuel stream there is no oxidizer isn't it therefore what will be mf mf will be 1 for oxidizer stream what will be the fuel it will be zero so therefore the mf will be 0 isn't it is that clear yes or no because in the fuel stream there is no oxidizer so therefore mixture fraction will be 1 and in the oxidizer there is no fuel so therefore mixture fraction will be 0 in the combustion chamber what will be happening it will be between 0 and 1 right so, uh, we will be dealing with about that little more, but let us now look at that if I will divide this by okay, mass of oxidizer, this will basically 1. So, this we know what is this one? This is nothing but your fuel by oxidizer, is not it? And this is also fuel by oxidizer. So, I can write down that is nothing but F by oxidizer divided by F by oxidizer plus 1 and I can write down this I can take this you know to the uh, left hand side I can write down M F 
uh, into F divided by oxidizer plus 1 right is equal to F by oxidizer. Now, if I want I can express this basically F by oxidizer in terms of M F right. How I will do? It is very easy. What I will do? I will be M F will be equal to F by oxidizer 1 minus M F right. So, therefore, uh, F by oxidizer will be M F divided by 1 minus M F yes or no right. Now, you might be wondering why I am doing this I am rewriting the same thing is not it. I want to relate the M F to the equivalence ratio because we have already calculated that right. So, we know equivalence ratio is nothing but fuel by oxidizer divided by fuel by oxidizer stoichiometric right. So, what I will do in place of this F by oxidizer I will put this expression right that will be basically phi is equal to m f divided by 1 minus f divided by fuel by oxidizer are you getting so one can really relate because if i you know m f with the equivalence ratio provided i know fuel oxidizer stoichiometric right so these all three you know you can relate each other And let us look at little more elaborately what is really M F. If you look at it is basically mass of material with its origin in the fuel stream right. For example, like you know uh, in the combustion combustor itself inside it can be fuel will be there, product will be there, oxygen also will be there yes or no in, in these combustors. If there is a flame here let us say there is a flame right that can be fuel will be there, oxidizer will be there and also the product will be there. Therefore, I need to find out what will be mixture fraction each place you know it will be vary from place to place. For example, mixture fraction will be some values here, it may be some values here, it may be some values different values here right any location it will be different yes or no will it be same it would not be right. So, for that what we will do? We will look at kg of fuel stuff divided by kg of fuel right into kg of fuel divided by kg of mixture. Are you getting? So, plus I can look at now kg of fuel stuff divided by kg of oxidizer into kg of oxidizer divided by kg of mixture. Now, you might be thinking in oxidizer where the fuel will be coming is not it that question might be coming in your mind or not, but in this case it can happen in this case where because it will be mixing it may be oxygen will be there and fuel will be there all will be there right in this case and another case in some situation we need to add also some kind of fuel into oxidizer that also can happen ok. Now, into kg of fuel stuff divided by kg of product into kg of product divided by kg of mixture are you getting in the product definitely the um, uh, what you call fuel element will be there like carbon hydrogen if we, even if carbon dioxide C is there carbon monoxide C is there right. So, kg of fuel stuff divided by kg of product into kg of product divided by kg of mixture. Now, if you recognize for this example like 1 kg of fuel reacting with new kg of oxidizer going to the new plus 1 kg of product in this case what will be this term any idea kg of fuel divided by kg of fuel that will be 1. What is this term any idea kg of fuel divided by kg of mixture it is mass fraction of fuel right it will be y f. But in this example kg of fuel stuff in the kg of oxidizer what it would be? It will be 0 and kg of oxidizer kg of mixture is nothing but y oxidizer and this will be in this case what it would be k 
kg of fuel stuff divided by kg of product, what it will be? 1 divided by nu plus 1, okay. and kg of this thing will be nothing but your y product. right? So, if I will write it down, that is basically m f 1 into y f, the same thing I am just writing down, 0 into y x, right? 1 divided by nu plus 1 into y product, because kg of fuel step is 1, 1 kg product is nu plus 1, right. So, that became 1 divided by nu plus 1. So, therefore, m f is equal to y f plus y product divided by nu plus 1. Keep in mind that this mixture fraction is a very useful term, because it can be considered as a conserved scalar. What is a conserved scalar? We will be discussing little later on, but it is a very useful term particularly for dealing with the diffusion flame. right? And this M f will be varying in the flow field, right? particularly in the combustors, not in the stream between 0 to 1. right? And as I told that mixture fraction is very useful for analysis of diffusion flame because of fact that fuel and oxidizer in this case are not mixed as in the case of premix flame, rather it is mixed at the interface of the flame. Right. So, therefore, this will be very useful term, right, which will be again revisiting whenever we will be deriving uh, you know certain uh, equations for this. And also when we are dealing with diffusion, jet diffusion flame, I will be uh, discussing about this mixture fraction. Okay. So, let us take an example, so that uh, things will be clear to you and uh, we will have to determine the mixture fraction and equivalence ratio in a methane air diffusion flame based combustor. If the measured mole fraction at the exit is x CH 4 0.095 x N 2 that is nitrogen 0 0.7, x C O 2 is 0 0.145, x water is 0 0.06. Right. Now, what do we need to find out? If we basically to find, these are all given to find mixture fraction M F and equivalence ratio. Right. We need to find that. So, what we will have to do? Basically, if you look at the in the fuel stream, what it contains in the carbon and hydrogen, because it is a methane. right? So, therefore, I can write down basically M f M c plus M h divided by M uh, of the mixture. right? Are you getting my point? This is very clear, it is a mixture. <coughs> okay. And then M f, I can write down as for the carbon, I can write down this as M c by M mixture plus M h divided by M mixture. Now, in the carbon, I will believe where the carbon is containing carbon in, in your methane, right? Carbon in your carbon dioxide. Okay, these are two product which are given in which we will be calculating. right? And for that, what we will do? We will have to basically look at Y C H 4 into M W C by M W C H 4 plus we will have to look at in carbon dioxide Y C O 2 m w c divided by m w c o 2, is not it? Plus, now we will have to look at m h, right? m h by m mixture, this portion that will be uh, methane, right? y c h 4 m w h divided by m w uh, m w h divided by c h 4 plus y water m w h m w water. 
are you getting? I can say basically um, if you look at I can put it as a hydrogen here and I can put it hydrogen here and keep in mind methane it is basically 2 H S 2. So, therefore, I can multiply it by 2. Is that clear? Hmm? Please look at it if you are having doubt let me know. Okay. So, now if you look at what is given here is the mole fraction, but here I have written mass fraction. Now, I will have to convert this mole fraction into mass fraction. What is that? That is basically x c h 4 right into molecular weight of c h 4 divided by molecular weight of mixture into molecular weight of c divided by molecular weight of c h 4 plus x c o 2 molecular weight of c o 2 molecular weight of mixture into molecular weight of C C O 2 plus X C H 4 into molecular weight of C H 4 divided by molecular weight of mixture into 2 molecular weight of hydrogen divided by molecular weight of C H 4 plus X water molecular weight of water weight of mixture into the hydrogen molecular weight of water. Keep in mind I can cancel this out is not it? I can cancel this out, I can cancel this out similar way I can cancel this out. So, I can write down m f is equal to x, x c h 4 plus x c o 2 into m w c by m w mixture right. I am clubbing this term two terms okay. plus this is hydrogen right. So, x c h 4 that is basically 2 right plus x water into m w hydrogen divided by m w mixture. Now, I need to find out molecular weight of mixture yes or no right because that is not known. I know the molecular weight of hydrogen, I know this uh, you know mole fraction of water is given, this is given, this is given, this is given, x c o 2 is given, x c h 4 is given and of course, m w c I know molecular weight of carbon I know, but mixture I do not know. So, I will have to find out molecular weight of mixture, nothing but x i into molecular weight i. I can be whatever the space is given. If you look at this is basically x C H 4 molecular weight of C H 4 plus x N 2 molecular weight of N 2 plus x C O 2 molecular weight of C O 2 plus x water molecular weight of water right. If you substitute these values right you will get it is something 28.58 kg per kilo mole you should substitute these values right these values are given all are given right keep in mind that or if you want i can write down maybe uh, this is a, water is basically what 18 right this value is 0 0.06 and this is 44 and these values is what? What is these values? Carbon dioxide right, carbon dioxide 0 
right and this is your 28 x n 2 x n 2 is 0 0.7 okay. and similarly this is your 16 and these values is 0 0.095. So, you will get this. Now, if I look at this is my expression oh my god like this is let us say equation 1 what I will do I will substitute these values uh, uh, molecular mixture there and other values I will get this thing that is x if you look at 0 0.095 x C H 4 x C O 2 is what 0 0.145 into M W C what it would be 12 molecular weight of carbon will be 12 divided by 28.58 plus then this term 2 x C H 4 2 x 2 into 0 0.095 plus you are having x water that is 0 0.06 into hydrogen, hydrogen is 2 divided by 28.58, you will substitute these values, you will get M f is basically 1.114, that means M f is equal to 0 0.114. right so now i find out mf but i need to find out equivalence ratio so what is that equivalence ratio phi is equal to mf divided by 1 minus mf into fuel plus oxidizer stoichiometric right for methane air is given so therefore you can find out what will be the stoichiometric ratio right okay so stoichiometric how we will find out that is very easy you have already done that that is 2 plus oxygen 79 by 21 n2 going to the carbon dioxide 2 of water plus 2 into 3.76 n2 isn't it right so the fuel air stoichiometric will be what 16 molecular divided by 2 into 32 plus 3.76 into 28 this happens to be 0 0.058 okay so now i will substitute these values phi is equal to mf ms is, is equal to 0 0.114 this divided 1 minus 0 0.114 right into 0 0.058. So, that happens to be something 2.22. So, therefore, phi is equal to 2.22. It is a very rich mixture right you can see from here. So, with this uh, I will stop over here and in the next lecture we will be uh, discussing about basically how to take care of heat of reactions and heat of combustions how to calculate all those things we will see thank you very much